Welcome. In this video, we will see how we can organize tests in Rust in different files, different modules. We already made a lesson about modules some time ago, but this will be specific about test integrations. Let's get started. Okay, now let's talk about the test organization and integration. We saw the basics of testing in the previous two lessons. In this one, we'll see how we can organize in tests in different files, different folders. We already made a lesson or two about modules using different files. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, probably you should check those modules and how to organize the project structure. In this lesson, we will see the project structure for test. Okay, so test organization. To do this, we create new project with cargo new dash dash lib. We create a library called adder. We step into this folder and then we open this with any IDE we want. So when we create a project using cargo new dash dash lib and uh, the name of the project, this is the default code we have here. We have a function, we have a test with this attribute, and then we have this function also with the test uh, attribute. And to just run this test, we can just uh, type uh, cargo test, okay? And this should not surprise us because we already made this uh, many times. Now, can I test uh, private functions? In some languages, uh, this is not allowed or uh, they suggest you to don't uh, test uh, private functions. This is more like into the philosophical <laughs> questions, philosophical uh, problems, but uh, I like the approach of Rust in this case. Let's see an example here, like this. So we have this function, then we have an internal function here. You see line one as pub, which stands for public. The function on line five, it doesn't have the pub keyword, so it's automatically internal private, I would say. So can we test this using Rust? Let's just try it out, cargo test. Let's see if we have some warning because we are testing an internal function. No, Rust couldn't care less. We can just test private and internal functions. If we don't want to test them, we just will not write tests for internal functions. We'll not have like this, like a test with an internal function. So the approach of Rust here is to give freedom to choose whatever we want. This is about them testing private functions. Now, let's see the integration test. How can we start writing a more um, structured test uh, uh, for our Rust applications? This part, it's interesting because we're getting into more production-ready applications. So how can we do this? We can create a folder called tests on the root of the project. So here we can create a folder called tests with final s. Okay, it also has a nice icon here, but this is not related to Rust. It has material icons on VS Code. It's an extension. Okay, now we have this. Now inside this folder, we can create a new file. We can call this file integration underscore test dot rs. So we have this file which is not in the lib.rs file. Okay. And inside this file, we can have something like this. We are using the usual project structure for Rust projects. So we can use this use other. Other is the name of the project. So if you had a different project here, you should change it. You don't have to change the folder, but it should match with what is on the cargo.toml file. So you can have something different here on, on the actual folder. Rust is checking what is on the cargo.toml file on line two. So the name of the project here. And then we have this function, this testing function. Small note here is that here we don't have the CFG, which stands for configuration. So on the lib.rs file, you see we have this um, attribute configuration testing. When we use a file inside a folder called Old tests. In this case, I don't need to add this CFG test. Okay, let's try cargo test. Let's read. This is a bit verbose, but let's read it. So we have test internals. So this was the one on lib.rs here. And then check below. Yes, I think it's this one. Test. You see here, test integration test. This does mean that all the files that are inside the test folder will run automatically of course, the function that have a test attribute, if I type cargo test. So I can actually create different files to test different functionalities of my project. And this is very, very interesting. I really like this approach. 
what if I want to run just this integration uh, test file and uh, testing functions? I can use an option cargo test and then space dash dash test and then just the name of the file without total s. So in the integration underscore test. It didn't make any type, what should work, you see. And now I'm running just the integration test uh, functions and not the one on the lib.rs. So this is the command cargo test dash dash test and the name of the file. Okay, nice. We are almost done, but I still want to show you something interesting because uh, let's say that I want to run some functions while I'm Testing. For more complicated use cases, uh, this is what we need. So how can I run, I don't know, a setup for the test? I can do this. In the test folder, I can create another folder called common. And inside this common folder, I can create a file called mod.rs. This is a module called common. You can check the modules um, video if you are confused here. Okay, we have a folder called common and inside this a file called mod.rs. Inside this uh, mod.rs file inside the common folder inside the test folder, I can write just a dummy function. So for example, public function setup. Okay, I want to set up uh, something for these tests. Okay, and here we can, for example, just uh, use a println uh, statement because I want to just see this uh, while I am um, testing the, the functionalities. So we have this. And now you see this is uh, not highlighted because this means that it's not called anywhere. By the way, it's called the setup and not set to work. And in the integration test, I can import the module as we did in the previous video. So mod comma. And now here, before this assert underscore EQ with exclamation mark, I can have this common setup. Of course, this is a simulation. We are simulating that we are having a setup here. Basically, we will see just this print LN. Now, if we type cargo test, here we can't see it. We see the test, but we can't see the output this setting up test. Okay, because this is just doing something under the hood, I would say. So do you remember how we can show the output of functions when we are actually running this test? We saw this on the previous lesson. We can type cargo test space dash dash space dash dash show dash output. Yes, you can see here now using this uh, command cargo test space dash dash space dash dash show dash output. Check it out here. Setting up test. So this is the whole circle. So Let's make a recap here. So here we have a lib.rs file that contains a function and an internal function. In this lib.rs file, we just run the internal testing function. And we saw that this worked. Then we created a test folder. And inside this test folder, we created an integration test file that has another function, but it's in an external file. And then to set up this integration test, maybe we need to do something before running this specific test. We create a folder called common and inside this a file called mod.rs. We are simulating that we are doing something for the test. And inside this integration test, check line seven, we are actually doing the setup. So this is the whole circle. And then if you want to also see, for example, this printer and statement, we use the command cargo test dash dash space dash dash show dash out. I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, just write them below and see you in the next video.